Next, we have the privilege of speaking with hit songwriter Diane Warren. She is an Emmy, Golden Globe, and Grammy winner who's penned beloved songs like Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton, Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith, and Have You Ever by Brandy, just to name a few. Now, after nearly four decades of writing hit songs featured on other people's albums, she's out with her own debut album, Diane Warren, The Cave Sessions, Volume 1. Thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations on the album. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. So we got permission to play a teaser clip of your music video for She's Fire with G-Eazy and Carlos Santana, which comes out tomorrow. She's fine, she's fine, but somehow she's so small. She's mine, she's mine, but she's going to drive me loco all night, all night. And tell us about this song. You know, I, I, I wrote the song... I wrote on my guitar, and I wrote this little guitar lick at the end at the end of the chorus. And I thought I I I, I kept hearing Carlos Santana, which is which is rare for me to write a song for a musician before I write a song, you know, hearing a singer. But I so I I I, I you know got the song to, to Carlos, and he loved it. And then um, I, I, a friend of mine through a mutual friend, of, uh, I met G Easy, and he loved it as well. And it was it's throwing two different worlds together, but. Together, they make this whole new world, this magical world. They, they sound so great together, you know? And, and you've really written 32 top 10 hits on the Billboard Hot 100. Why was now the time for you to release a debut album after writing for so many other artists? Well, I'm still doing the same thing, really, on this record. The artists are doing all the work. Um, but it's, it, it's a body of work. That's what's different. I mean, I'm kind of DJ Diane. I'm kind of doing what DJ Khaled does, except I don't yell my name on every song. <laughs> Um, you know, or Mark Ronson or David Guetta or, you know, or, or, or so many of these kind of DJ producers. And I thought, you know, no one's done, you know, the songwriter version of that. And I want, I'd love to do one and just show all the different styles that I write in because, you know, most songwriters, you know, write in one genre of music. And I've always been in kind of all of them, basically. Um, so I just thought, let's put together, let me put together some great artists and, and all kinds of different kinds of songs, you know, that, that, you know, someone hearing this record isn't going to go, like, wouldn't think that the same person who wrote, you know, She's Fire wrote the John Legend ballad, Where's Your Heart, or these other songs, you know, but, you know, yet I, I did. <laughs> so you don't have the another one hit, like the another one hook, like, uh, like DJ Khaled, but people will probably recognize your fingerprint after a bit. What can fans expect from this album and what sets it apart from your previous work? I mean, it's, I mean, I, I hope, I hope it, you know, it continues my, that I've been writing really good songs. You know, I think that, that there's like, to me, this album is like a greatest hits album that, that are, you know, that hopefully will become a greatest hits album. But they all, to me, they all sound like hits and they all sound like singles, you know, and, and I, and I just wanted, even though the songs are so diverse in genre and artist and stuff. I wanted it to be tied together by great songs. So anybody buying this record or streaming this record or however you're going to listen to this record, you know, you're going to get some good songs, great songs and, and great artists. It, tell us about some of these interesting pairings that you put together. You work with such a diverse group of artists. It includes John Legend, Carlos Santana, Celine Dion, just to name a few. How do you decide? And is it often, because you mentioned before that you just kind of heard Carlos Santana, like it was right for him. Is that often? Do you hear someone's particular voice when you're creating the music? Yeah, or sometimes I go, it's like, it's like casting a role in a movie, and sometimes you can go, like, totally against type casting, right? Like, when, like I wrote Drink You Away, and I wanted I wanted it on this record because I really loved the song. And then I thought, this is so so different and cool for Ty Dolla Sign. He's never done something like that. You know, it's almost like a country hip-hop song. And so I, so I, and I didn't know him, and I approached him, and he loved it and, and did it. And then, you know, some other artists on here, like I, I did a song with Pentatonix and John Batiste, and I met Pentatonix pentatonics through my dentist you know of all people you know so i mean it's all like you know i don't know if i answered your question did i uh, yeah i think so i mean i think a lot of people don't realize that the process of how we go about you know creating songs and how you get paired up but apparently you just have to go to the dentist's office and it's that easy <laughs> <laughs> exactly there's there, there's actually good that can be done you know gotten from a dentist so you besides been You've been nominated for an astounding 12 Oscars. This year, your song, Somehow You Do, performed by Reba McIntyre, could be the latest contender. It was featured in the film Four Good Days. You'll never get through some way. 
Do you think that this is the year that you may finally win? Um, you know, I, I, I'm always happy to be nominated. Um, you know, it's a huge honor just to be nominated because there's only five songs chosen for the Oscars, you know, for Oscar Best Song, as opposed to the Grammys where there's lots of song categories. And when you when when those five songs are chosen, they're chosen by the music branch, which are the 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 best composers and songwriters, you know, and, and music editors and every every everybody in there is legendary. And if, if they pick my songs that is a huge win and you know I've gotten chosen a lot and you know I haven't won yet but you know I'm optimistic it'll happen sometime I hope or you know right now I'm the most nominated woman in any category in the 93 year Oscar history to have not won and been nominated this many times so I guess that's cool too <laughs> and, and lastly this is kind of a double question you've dropped cave sessions volume one so one where'd you come up with the name for cave sessions and to the degree that you have volume one I assume there's a plan for volume two. Yeah, uh, well, the cave is my disgusting writing room that I like to spend time in. Um, it's not like dark like a cave, but it is kind of, it is my, my you know, hiding place, you know, where I go. And I've, I've been in there, you know, for decades. I, I have a building down the street that's my building, but I've still stayed there just because I like my room there. And um, yeah, and it's just so the cave session. So a lot of those songs came out of that room in the cave and you know volume one yeah this is there's great songs on here but i couldn't get everything even on this album and i, I already have the start of volume two and, and i said that was gonna be last but i'm just curious where do you get the inspiration for some of these songs i mean i'm thinking about like the tony braxton unbreak my heart i mean this is like the classic when you get broken up with you you, you cry to this song where do you kind of draw upon i mean i i just i always have my antennas up you know, um, there's ideas everywhere. And with Unbreak My Heart, it was just a title. I thought that was just kind of a cool title and just started playing chords and went to this weird key change from the verse to the chorus, and, you know. So, you know, ideas are everywhere. You just have to be, you know, open to them. You know, and I'm, I'm constantly writing. I'm, I'm constantly, you know, working hard. And, and, you know, to me, it's like being an athlete and, and working your muscles, you know. It's like if, you're, if you want to be in the Olympics, you got to, you know, practice, you know. So to me, I'm always practicing. I'm always learning. Diane Warren, such a pleasure speaking with you. Her debut album, Diane Warren, The Cave Sessions, Volume 1, is available wherever you get your music. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.